Are you breathing enough in your riding? Hey guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Unstoppable Equestrian. I'm Danielle Pools from Dressage Plus, and in today's video is the first video of a three part video series. And the series is all about the three things that I believe you just really can't do enough in your riding to get the most out of your riding. And so this first video is all about our breathing. And I really, really believe that you cannot breathe enough in your rides to get, uh, to create, one, to create relaxation and, and calmness with your horse and for the rider and the horse, obviously. But more importantly, the breath can really help improve just the general way our horse is going. So thinking about transitions and breathing in and out of transitions, which we'll talk more about in a moment. And also just the breath can really help if you've got a horse that's maybe not so willing in the forwardness or in, in their attitude at times. And sometimes you find that you're fighting with your horse or they're against you in, in certain aspects of the ride, whether it's shying at something or just against you in the contact, in the forward. The breath can really, really help overcome these things before we even look at putting on a certain aid. And just stripping it right back, breathing, moving forward with the aid can just make the world a difference in the way your horse uh, shifts their attitude, shifts their willingness, uh, and then from there creates more softness and lightness through their body, more expression. So you can turn a really challenging ride, so maybe they're shying and uh, being really difficult, uh, being super hot, you can change a challenging ride like that with your breath by being very intentional and purposeful with your breath into a, quite a nice ride. And you can also change or transform a quite a nice ride into an amazing ride using your breath. So uh, your horse might be going along nicely, but you just want a little bit more freedom or a little bit more expression in the trot work. And by br breathing correctly and using it, and as you're breathing out, letting go through your body, can just transform your horse's movement and the way they're moving underneath you into something really, really nice. So the exercise I want to share with you today for you to use uh, in your riding, in your next ride, is all around breathing, obviously, and using your breath in transitions. So both upwards and downward transitions. I want you to think about, as you're preparing for your, um, your transition, that you're uh, taking a deep breath in to your tummy, pushing your tummy out as you breathe in, and then as you're asking for the transition, that you're breathing out, you're letting go through your body, you breathe physically through your mouth, but also breathing through your shoulders, down into your hands, breathing through your, like your bottom muscles, down into your thighs. So you're letting go through your body as you breathe out and making it an exaggerated breath so your horse can hear you. So you wanna think about like pushing your air out towards the ear. So it's a extended breath, like a, and hopefully you can hear me on the video, uh, or you might let a big sigh out. So your horse hears it and, and breathes with you. And I want you to, oh, there we go, she just snorted with me. So she needed that breath just as much. Uh, so that's what we want to create, that our horse snorts as we're breathing, um, particularly at the start of the ride. So that they kind of like partnership up with us, they connect up with us, they're listening, they're le we're leading them uh, to relaxation and a fun ride. So have a play with that this week, guys. I want you to take your time, set a reminder if you need to before you ride, and breathing out on every upwards and downwards transition. And give it time. Don't just do it a couple of times and um, then give up in the ride. Every transition in the ride over the next week, playing with it, experimenting, you'll be amazed that if your horse comes against you in those transitions, just by breathing out, how much they actually become more willing, they relax their pole, they take their bridle forward. Um, it's amazing how much you can improve by just breathing before you even apply any kind of aids. So have fun with that one, guys. It's really something you cannot do enough in your breathing, uh, in your riding. So lots of breathing out, letting go, and, and enjoy practicing. And I will see you next week for the next tip. Bye. <laughs>